think for my daughters, one of the things I worry about is the impact that social media could have on my daughter's self-esteem. There's so much pressure on girls to look a certain way, dress a certain way. I think there's a lot of boasting or showing off through Instagram and Snapchat how you look that day or how you feel about yourself that day. And then when you're scrolling through your Instagram, models that kind of all have the same body type and a lot of girls look the same and so it's hard for me to accept that I'm not always going to look like that and I probably never will. My worries with technology and my kids, specifically Jake, is just how far out his circle is extended. There are mean people out there, especially sometimes behind the cloak of an anonymous username. I worry about him feeling hurt People can just hide behind certain accounts on social media and they will comment something rude with language that is offensive and people make it very personal and hurtful. Um, I've definitely gotten pretty emotional when these comments have been said to me online, uh, even just crying. It is not unusual for us to hear stories from our schools of cyberbullying. So it is so important that we address this type of behavior early on. Common Sense provides the curriculum and framework that allows us to teach our students the very important lessons of digital citizenship. So we have teachers throughout the district who are taking this curriculum and incorporating it into their lessons and having great conversations. I absolutely believe that schools um, have a responsibility to teach digital citizenship, and so we've been working with Common Sense for the last four years. Ravenswood is that part of the Silicon Valley that is the little hub of poverty. Most of our families have a single smartphone, which is shared for everything. So our students' access to technology, other than at school, is pretty non-existent. Common Sense uh, has been a great asset and actually the foundation for moving forward in our district. We use a Common Sense curriculum for uh, how we teach uh, our students on the use of technology. Our um, staff, teachers and uh, library staff all are using training from Common Sense Media and we also use Common Sense Media in working with our parents on how to support their children at home. We've used it here in our household to help us figure out what the rules around technology ought to be. I know that I can go there if I want to get ideas on managing devices or really just some information on social media and how do I start those conversations with my daughters. These small children are our future. They are the future YouTubers, they are the future Twitterers, and we want to make sure that we use this tool wisely. All of our basic concern is that we raise caring, happy, educated children that will be responsible and do the right thing.